I'm delighted to be back. I'm really excited with what's in store. I'm here for six months at the moment, maybe longer, don't know yet. Coming back with this sort of big, exciting, explosive storyline couldn't really be better. Okay, well obviously, can you see the church on the camera? Um, uh, can you see my dress? Uh, we're doing a wedding, obviously, a uh, charity's wedding. Does it happen, does it not? Can't really say, but it's going to be um, pretty intense at times. Well, she's sort of been away, been abroad, come back, met somebody really gorgeous who she wants to, you know, commit to. Um, he's obviously nicely cashed up. He loves Noah, which is very important for her. And I think she's just sort of moving on with her life now. And it, it's a sort of totally separate entity to Emmerdale. Or is it? Where the hell do you think you're going? Move the truck. Because if you're off to a certain wedding, I don't think you're on the guest list. I just need to get away from here. Fine. Go for a walk. All right. I was going to the church. You don't say. I just need to see him. Why? You've got no idea, have you? The wedding in itself is going to be a, a massive explosion, uh, you know, in terms of relationships and, and who's done what and who finds out what and who, what, where, when. It, it's all very much like that. And then sort of that forces Charity back into Emmerdale out of, you know, circumstances out of her, her own control. So she's not wanting to come back. It's not her doing. She's been dragged back and now, you know, I mean, all hell will break loose because she's got major unfinished business. This is it. Goodbye, dear. Oh, what a surprise. Oh, just pull over. All right. Well, yes, yeah, she's got to um, take her vows and there is an unexpected visitor. Well, two actually, two unexpected visitors. Pretty horrific. I don't think it could be worse. She's sort of got away from that life. She's making a new life for herself. So to see two people storm the wedding in such a fashion, I think she, it's just horrendous. Don't do this. If you're here for the wedding, please. Do you take a seat? Unbeknownst to Charity, uh, when Debbie and Kane walk in, she has absolutely no idea there's a connection and that Kane has been beating up Michael several times, you know. There's so many revelations going on that will obviously, you know, reveal themselves throughout the episode. It, it is a corker of an episode. We're running late. Hello, Michael. How the hell do you know it? We're old friends, aren't we?